Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. Today I'm installing the Renogy DC to DC 40 amp charge controller into a 2007 Dodge Sprinter. I'm going to show you guys where to hook up that D plus connection. I know a lot of videos don't, so let's get into it. Now let's we're going to work on this uh, Renogy 40 amp DC to DC charger. I already have one cord coming in from my old AGM uh, battery isolator. So that's my positive in, and I'll hook that up later. I'll also have to run a negative, and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with that. And then I also have to run my outputs into my batteries here. So that's gonna be the first order of business. And it's been an eventful morning, so I had the uh, Roadrunner, the New Mexico State Bird, actually like come right here by the van. And then it ran down and it got into like an altercation with like a hawk. It was crazy, I got that. And then I popped my hood and I have this like animal nest. I've never had this happen. It's probably not a good thing. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I just found this and you can see it's been like chewed up. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna set some traps, see if we can catch them, and then I'm gonna get back to this uh, DC to DC charger. All right, so I grabbed a bag and some gloves. And this is kind of intense. I've never seen anything like this. So now, anyone in the comments who's had some uh, rad experience, you know, share the love and let me know how I can keep these guys out of here. Got a big one here. Having a hard time reeling it in. It's a big one. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's my ground connection. Yeah, gotta get it done any way necessary. Literally fishing this wire through. But yeah, I'm getting it installed. I cut my positive and negative outs, put some battery terminals on them. I already had a positive running here for my old setup. Now I'm running the negative, and then I'm gonna get it all hooked together and kind of run through what I did. We are installing the ignition wire. I was going to originally go into a fuse, but I popped open the seat here and I found this guy here. And I'm going to put it on that post right there. And I got my terminal ring all hooked up, so I'm going to do it right to that. And I already checked it at zero when the car is off. And right when I put the keys in the ignition, it turned to 12 volts. So that one is gonna work perfect. It's easier to get into. And I'm gonna do it right now. I just started the car and back here, I got a yellow light or a green light. And you can also hear some noises. So it's working. I got to get my multimeter and see what's going on. But that light wasn't on earlier. And now it popped on right when I turned the car on. And let's turn the engine off and see if the light goes off. So I'll just leave the camera. That ignition cable actually worked well right there under the seat. If you have a Sprinter, this is a 2007 Sprinter. Okay, now that everything's working and everything's in place, I'm just going to kind of run through the uh, general setup of this uh, DC to DC battery charger. So it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna take a, a negative. These are all four gauge cords. So this negative goes to the negative here on the house battery and the positive goes to the positive here on the house battery. And I have a 20 amp fuse. And if you just heard that started, that just shut off because my battery has reached full. So once the battery's charged full, it sounds like this unit just kind of turns off that high voltage disconnect and i also switched my toggle settings there's these little toggles on here in the instructions there's one for uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries which i have so i set the toggles for my lithium batteries i run my d plus cord out here as well as a, a negative and a positive and those run to the battery terminal all right, so the D plus I showed you it went under the seat on that little port there and that ended up working out perfect. And then I run all my cables down through through down here. And I'm getting quite a bit of cable buildup because I have so much stuff. So these are all my sound system cables. I got that 20 amp fuse coming in 
and I have it just right here hooked up to my battery and then I run that four gauge negative wire and that just hooks up to the negative terminal and that was it it was pretty straightforward setup and it's working I'm stoked it's a good day and I got out here early and finished before it got hot so we're gonna just do a few more things and then we're gonna sign off also you guys remember we had that uh, little rat's nest let's see if we uh, caught anything nope I can see the trap still set no luck no fresh poops i had a whole pile of poop in that corner that's gone so thanks for joining along on the installation it was short quick and easy and i hope this video helps you guys install your dc to dc charger in your sprinter van always like and subscribe and comment and tell us how you did it if you did anything different or if you saw anything in there that we could have done differently let us know we always appreciate you, all the feedback from all you kooks. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys soon.